Hello everybody, it is me again and it's Lenton. Today we are bringing you a little section called Answers and Solutions. Now, last week I uploaded a little post on YouTube about a Q&A session which you guys have given a chance to ask me some questions and I will upload them within a week or so. And since almost a week has been passed, I might as well start it early because you guys, not, there's not even any more updates since the last post I put up. So let's get to it. Shine or Sean C. Who are your favorite tryhards in all of history? You have to be a little bit specific about that. Are you talking about Tappen or Fortnite? Oh, why can't you not die? Well, if you're talking about Tappen, I say it's those big top 100 ranking people is usually like Ryuzu, Narikawa, or Kami, or Sutaba and most likely not me because I'm not a fucking tryhard I'm not a tryhard player and you guys should know that by now I'm not a competitive player I'm just a I'm just an uploader who likes to entertain you guys with some little jokes or stuff and the next person we have is uh Alex Alexi Will you continue to post tap and content or will you focus on some other franchise? To be honest, I'm thinking of playing Hitman 2. I do have the game I have right now in my Steam and technically it's very hard for me to play because of how stealthy we need to be and the key bindings is like way more than I anticipated, like literally. But if I'm gonna play more tap and content, yes, but maybe I'll do the next booster when the B line comes out as already posted in the community section Raito Takasaki We're going to make new videos of decks on Teppen after the new hero and card update Like your video style, it's really speedy and numbers of match is really suitable for me Yes, I will continue to upload Teppen depending on how well the video goes because not a lot of you like me playing Teppen or putting some dislike or so and not a lot of people comment on liking the video I'm really very sad and hurt about that but otherwise, yes, I will still play more Tappen and upload after the new hero comes out. Okay, after the new hero comes out. Eagle Shadow 13. Do you still play Tappen like before? Or do you think the game dying till the next patch? I would have to say yes, but technically, no, but yeah, technically, yes. Alright, I still play Tappen, yes. The game is dying, yes. But until the next patch, I do not know, really for sure. But really, Tappen is kind of dying. Uh. Quite a lot of people, I mean, we have a lot of tryhards, alright? We didn't even get a good chance to play our mean decks. Just like what, like what Stout Helm say, you can keep playing mean decks, not ranking or anything like that. Finally, we have Ace Tech 9. Stop playing sweaty tap in decks and make some style that is challenging to win with, like a theme team or cards that you never get to see. There was a tournament recently where they ran was units and no actions. It's lame watching everyone run the same crap. I agree, I know, but I'm not gonna stop playing Sweaty Dax. Damn, it feels good to be a gangster. And also, yeah, I do know about the tournament. It belongs to the Thirsty Games. I am aware of him, alright? I'm aware. Uh, otherwise, I will not play Team Dax, depending on the amount of cards they have released that summarize up to one specific theme or game for example Resident Evil, Monster Hunter, Morrigan or Rocketman I think I never played Rocketman before like literally but if I do this play Rocketman I believe it's long time ago when I was a, like a little kid maybe around 5 years or so but no alright guys that wraps up the session for Q&A now a lot of you comment or ask me some questions in the tap and post which I posted at least within a week you had your chance. I'm sorry if not none of you really didn't get the chance, but you will. And I will do another QA session in the future, like a very further future, maybe two months or so, if not a little bit more, because I don't really have the time. I'm still studying, I'm still just a kid. Like, I'm 20 years old. I'm 20, yes, I'm 20 years old. But I'm not gonna stop the video like right there because it's only like 5 minutes, some of you I believe will time through the speed, I know some of you will time through the speed So I will add a little bit more session where I talk about the new release card that we know so far in Tappen Alright, the first release we have from say Tappen Asia is Icy Penguin Yes, Icy Penguin's back but in another version, he's kinda weak Alright, here it is Here it is 
His name is Icy Penguin. He's a race of a machine. While in play, battle damage received by all friendly machine units minus one. I do not know any opinion thoughts about this card, but he can only last about two battles or so. But all friendly units minus one damage. That means it's. I'm not sure how to say. It's a bit kind of. It's kind of weak. All right. And next. We have a monster card from Monster Hunter called Akamantrum? I'm not sure about this Akamantrum. He's a monster race. When survived due to damage, damage to to all all enemy units. All enemy units, huh? Hmm. That is kind of good. That is really, really kind of good. I admit. Alright, moving on. We have... Oh, this guy. He we have him before. He's around the eight of a very deadly big monster. He's called Crescent Grizzly. From what the Google Translate say, I can't uh, be, I can't really tell if that's really the name of the cards. He's a machine type race, and while in play, all friendly unit of a machine gain two attacks. That is surprisingly good. It's almost like Colonel all over again, but instead of giving plus one extra attack, he gives the unit rush, but this one gives two attacks for machines. Wow! I wonder if Mega Man's a machine or not. I don't know, you tell me. Next, we have a monster from Monster Hunter World called Teru. It's a beast monster, right here. During play, put one MP3 or less monster unit in the deck into play. Now be specific, I'm not sure what kind of monster are they talking about. Are they talking about monster, or are they talking about beast monster, or any units? I can't really tell, but it's most likely to be a monster card that will be summoned from the deck. A special summon, I would say. And another is from Ryan Ferries. He's a streamer. I can't really see him due to how late he streams and stuff like that. But this is the card. It's called Predation. We already have a Predation. Why is there another Predation? Destroy an enemy unit with an MP cost of 4 or less and give one random friendly unit plus 3 health. That is surprisingly good! Destroying 4 MP and then my black unit can gain health? Wow! That's a very good card. Finally! A black card that can heal. Fuck, he's an MP cost of 4. <laughs> Next, we have a legendary card. Wow, I do not know what monster is this. How do you pronounce this card's name? Here, here is how it looks like. Black Crown, Morudomutno, Rush, Spillover, and Pierce. Finally, Black Heart having a Pierce! Wow! He's a tribe of monster. Attacking, gain one attack. After taking damage and surviving, destroy one random enemy unit with 2 HP or less. He also no. It doesn't seem like it. But when attacking, he steals himself and minus two attack. Oh that's oh oh that's a oh oh that that really hurts. Uh. I mean seriously, sealing yourself, what the fuck? Alright, we have another card that was given to Stout and it's called Witch of the Abyss. It's an epic rarity. Deals damage equal to the number of friendly demon units plus one to an enemy unit. Your hero gains life equal to the damage dealt. Hey, isn't that not Buford 2.0? That's, that's definitely Buford 2.0, isn't it, guys? Alright, another one we have is Barlock. Hey, I remember Barlock. He's such a very, very weak card, if I remember correctly, in the next crystal or previous. Very, very weak. This is him. I mean, plus two attack and one health. Of victory what the what the hell it's, it's too weak guys it's like so so weak 
But this one's different. He's calm and ready. Mmm. He's a human. When play, even though I'm a human is on the field, he gained two attack. It seems like a permanent effect where he became a 3 7 cost cut. Maybe it's a little boost for the spike launch deck. I don't know, but I feel like it also. Alright, the next one we have is tap Play Tappen. They release it. It's revealed by the Thirsty Games. Riding the Giant Weapon. Yeehaw! Give a friend unit 3 HP. Give a friend unit. If a friend unit with 4 or more attack is on the field, give an additional 1 plus 1. Oh damn! Oh damn! 104. 1 slash 4 to a unit. As long as they have 4 more attack. Is there any other card that has 1 4 attack? I don't know. I don't think so. And next we have. Oh my god, these are so cute! Malayu or Leyu. It's a beast monster. There are those felines from other regions like in Monster Hunter. His ability is agility. When damaging an enemy hero, take a random card from your opponent's hand or AX pocket and add it to your EX pocket. Woo! We have another thief here guys. We have another thief. We Purple cards having too much buff skills, alright? We have stopping already. We already have damage immunity. Now we're stealing cards? What the hell? They're getting too much power. Give Black some stuff, man. Just give us some more power. Now this is the latest one that was revealed by the Thursday Games. It's called Frost Wars. Let it go, let it go. In fact, we finally have another growth card. This one is Frost Wars. It's a machine type monster and growth of requirement 3. 3 points that is. When level 2, he gained 1 attack and spill over. But when he leveled by 3 again, he gains 3 health and stop unit in front for 13 seconds. And he's a 3 cost card with 1 slash 6. Well, I must say that these are some good cards. Like, really good cards. But I can't say for some way. Did I miss out some? I think I did miss out some. Where is it? 12 seconds later. Ah, yes, I did miss out a card right here. He's a. Uh, Execution Magini is a creature. Heavy penetration. Ooh, it's a heavy pierce. When playing, if your deck is 10 or less, destroy a 6 MP unit in front or lower. Then he is a cost of 6, 3, and 8. And he is a secret card. Wow, look at that. I don't want to go close to him. It's like you see his face. Your life is done. You, you get it. You get my reference. So, guys, that'll be it for the wrap up session for the new cards and QA session with me and as Lantern. Thank you all for watching, sorry about the background, I mean I don't really have a good quality, I'm that poor, I'm still trying to earn money from YouTube and work and study, like fucking literally, and so, but otherwise thank you guys for coming, I'll say goodbye, and maybe in the future if you want to do some Q&A session, let me know in the comment section down below, and I'll see you all next time, bye!